Hello everyone, Carolyn here. Today I'm going to be doing a super, super exciting video. Today I'm going to be setting up for two comebacks in my photo card binders. Those comebacks are Monstax's newest comeback, one of a kind, and also Twice's comeback, Taste of Love, which I'm so excited for both of them. I feel like these are very different concepts, but I'm gonna have some fun setting up my binders today um, because these comebacks don't happen for a few more weeks still, but I've just kind of had these like placeholders made for a while and I kind of just want to put them away and also talk about these comebacks. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. Normally I do Monstax in their own separate videos, but this time I decided to combine them with Twice just to have more content for you guys. Also, there isn't really anything else in June that's been announced that I like want to set up for with Twice yet. So I'm sure there will be something, but as of this point there isn't. So I figured I would just put twice in this video. So I hope you guys do not mind that. Let's start by talking about Monstex though. So we'll do Monstex first and then we'll talk about twice at the end because I kind of have a fun announcement for how I'm collecting twice this era. It's going to be a fun time. Monstex are releasing their new comeback one of a kind. It's their ninth mini album on June 1st and I am thrilled. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. I love Monstex. They are my ultimate group and if you are new to this channel um, you might not know but I collect full group on stacks. I collect OT7, as I say, because I collect everything for Wano as well, um, and then everything for the other six members in Monstax. And I also tend to collect pre-order things for everyone. Um, there are some things I will only do Kihyun for, who is my active member bias, but for the most part, I do um, for everyone. As per normal with Monstax, there are four versions of this album. They're actually very similar. I have to check the dimensions, but they're very similar looking to the the connect albums um besides the fact that there's a sleeve cover um and the connect isn't a sleeve cover it's just like a, a book flower photo books lyric books you know all that pretty normal stuff for monstex the first time i saw this it was like because they posted this at 3 a.m my time so i saw it as soon as i woke up i thought there were random member cd plates and i was gonna cry <laughs> I was gonna cry because I hate random over CD plays, but I would have collected them for Monstax. Like, it's just, you know, just how it is. Um, but there's only four CD plates. Getting into the random items, the stickers are not random, so we're gonna ignore that. So, first of all, we have the normal photo card setup for Monstax. There is one photo card per member per version of the album. So, each member has four cards, making up 24 cards total. Obviously you can only pull version 1 cards in version 1 and so on and so forth. That's pretty normal. They also brought back the unit cards this time, which was actually something I really wanted because I like collecting Wall 6 unit cards. I think they're really fun and I think they're really cute and I just like seeing all the different combinations of all the members. So there's 15 cards, which means that there is one card of every member with every other member. So there's all the pairings. Um, makes up 15 different cards. We also have the rolling paper message cards, which are new for this album. Um, and they are very large. <laughs> They're gonna fit in two pocket sleeves, but there's six of those. And there's also six paper ornaments. And then there's also folded posters. Ugh. I don't really like getting posters in K-pop albums anyways, because I don't collect them or I won't like display them at all, but we will be collecting the folded posters. I'm buying enough albums that hopefully I can just pull all the folded posters and I won't have to worry about trading. Same with the paper ornament and the message cards and the unit cards, but I am actually holding a group order for this album. We'll, we'll get into that right now, actually. Let's go get into that right now. So my music taste is holding a fan sign and I decided to hold a group order. So if you didn't see on my community tab or on my Instagram or my Twitter, I don't know how you missed this because I've been posting about it a lot, but I am trying my luck again for a Kihyun fan sign. Last time I did Kihyun and Minhyuk for Fatal Love Era and I only got in for Minhyuk. I did not make it in for Kihyun. So we're gonna try Kihyun again this era. So I am holding a group order to do a fan call with Kihyun. The saddest thing about this fan call is that it's on June 18th, which is actually Shonu's birthday. And he's not able to participate in this fan call because of his hiatus that he's on currently, which is so sad. But I will leave the link to the Google Docs down below. Um, my music taste is giving out exclusive photo cards. So there is an exclusive photo card option. 
If you're an international friend, you do not live in the United States. I am also doing an option where you can get the solo member card and the unit card. Um, this is the wrong thing. The solo member card and the unit card, and I'll ship it with a My Music Taste card. So you can do that option. And then there's also like the obvious, if you're in the United States, you can buy an album and a My Music Taste card together. So go ahead and check that out my form. I'll link it in the description. It is open worldwide. If you're interested in joining, I would really appreciate the support in um, trying to get into Keehan's fan sign because I haven't been this worried about getting into a fan sign ever. Like for Minhyuk, I was pretty confident. And for Wano, I feel like the first time I was pretty confident, but that was Wano's like last fan sign for the era. This is one of the first fan signs this era and I really want to try it because I feel like anything after this fan sign date is going to kind of, all of the albums arriving is going to kind of like happen at the same time as me like moving. And so I don't really want to have a bunch of group order albums while I'm moving. Yes, um, it closes on May 28th. I think I'm going to post this video on like Wednesday or something. So you have time. Um, but yes, there are exclusive photo cards for my music taste this time around. So you get one for each member. And then there's also Starship Square benefits as always. I got really nervous the first time this all got announced because they didn't announce K-Town for you pre-order benefits because there are none. And I was like, what if Starship doesn't give us any pre-order benefits? <laughs> like what if we don't have any pre-order benefits besides like the normal Korean fan sign call cards, which are like so hard to get. <laughs> so I, there are Starship Square benefits. They were the only things that were announced for, for a couple days and I was a little concerned, but you get one of six random photo cards um, if you buy a single album. And if you buy a set of albums, so if you buy a set of four, you get the folded postcards, which are very similar to what Wano had for his last album. Except I don't understand why Wano has bookmarks and mostly it's got photo cards like Highline Store. Next time, give us photo cards. <laughs> I don't want any more bookmarks, but yes. So we get the folded postcards. Um, so that's nice. And then we also have withdraw mahalo cards and i'm so excited i literally like love holo cards it's been my dream for monster decks to have holo cards because i think the withdraw mahalo cards are so pretty and when they announce these i like like, <laughs> like i i am not worried about my music taste and starship square running out of pre-order benefits I will probably order my withdraw my albums before the other ones because I want to make sure I get those holo cards because so pretty. One in six random cards per album. It says here that if you buy six albums, you're not guaranteed to get all six cards. Last time I bought from withdraw my, I bought six albums and I got all six cards, but I also know other people who didn't. So I think they're trying to be good about it. I feel like they should be good about it because if you buy six albums, obviously you're buying six albums for a reason. There's only four in a set, so. And that's it for like, for info for Monster X. So let's get into the binder now. This is my OT7 binder. This has everything from Fantasia forward. So we're gonna go back, Fade of Love. Oh, also another goal for this comeback for me. I really want a promo album. And I also want to get Kihyun's broadcast cards again because I have his broadcast cards for Love Killa. So I'd really like to get his broadcast cards again. Um, so that's a goal of mine as well. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that there's no lenticulars this time around? Like Starship maybe did one good thing today. Past all of the Fatal Love stuff, if you want to see my entire Fatal Love collection, I've shown it in a couple videos. I showed it in my completing my Fatal Love collection video. And then also I did a entire Monstax collection video recently. I will add an additional paper back here at some point, but yeah, so much stuff to put away. Okay, so I wanna set this up in kind of a certain way. Um, and I was hesitant to do this before they started doing teasers because I wanna set it up the same way I set up for Fantasia. So to show you kind of what that looks like super quick, because there were unit cards, put the members in their units and then put the unit card in the middle. So I kind of wanted to do that again for this era. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But because we don't know the units yet, because we haven't gotten teaser photos yet, we're going to choose our ideal <laughs> units for this era. So my ideal units for this era, I'll talk while I'm like organizing these. Shonu, my ideal member with Shonu for this era. And also if this doesn't happen, it's like not the end of the world. 
I will switch it. But I really want Changyun and Shonu together this era. I think it would be really, really cute. Um, they're a really cute pair and I feel like they never get paired together. So I think it would be a really fun time. So I always do the older member first and then I'm just gonna put this Shonu Changyun unit card in the middle here. I'm so excited for this album though. This track list, so all we've gotten is like this one teaser photo <laughs> and album pre-orders and the track list. And the track list looks so good. We have two Hyungwon songs on here, which was like the number one thing I wanted from this comeback was a Hyungwon song. Hyungwon's Nobody Else is like amazing. Like Minyuk and I talked about it. It's a great song. And I really wanted another Hyungwon song. And nobody else did really well too. Like the monsters like really promoted nobody else. And so I was really excited for a new one. So Hyungwon is releasing a new song, which is really nice. Um, so this is how the page is gonna be set up here. So Minhyuk is the next oldest member. I really want Minhyuk to be paired. I'd be really sad if none of these are correct <laughs> um, with a Juhan, cause they're so cute. Like they're the cutest pair. Minhyuk is usually paired with Kihyun, but they already had that recently. And then last era, Minhyuk was paired with Hyungwon. Um, also in this track list, speaking of Juhan, Juhan produced the title track, which is so exciting. Literally so hyped for Juhan producing the title track. Like, get it, Juhan. Juhan's been producing music for Monster X since literally the beginning. And the fact that he gets to do the title track this time around, like, it's gonna be amazing. And that also explains why Minhyuk, if you're a fairly new one by bay, let me know in the comments if you're new. But um, before Fatal Love last era, Minhyuk was hyping this song up, which was odd for him because I feel like Minhyuk, he's very opinionated about music, which I love. I love that about him. Um, which is why when I did my fan sign, I was like, I need to know what your favorite song of 2020 is. Like, you need to tell me. And like that you have, released as Monster X. <laughs> Minyak was like hyping up Love Killa. And this time, what did he post? No, he didn't post it on Fan Cafe. He talked about it on Vogue Ship Show. He was like, you know, there's some title tracks that we've done that I really like. And there's some, what was his exact wording? There's some that I just feel sorry for, <laughs> was what he said. But this title track is so good. Like he was like really hyping it up. And I was like, now it makes sense because it's a Juhan song. Did I do this wrong for the other one too? I was just talking and I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing. So that leaves us with Kihyun and Hyungwon, which I feel like is a really great unit as well because the behind the scenes will just be them fighting the whole time. I'm gonna have Kihyun and Hyungwon, but overall I'm really excited for this comeback. Like I am always excited for Monster X comebacks and I just, it feels like it's been a long time. It hasn't really been that long. It just feels like it's been a long time. It's gonna be a very interesting comeback too. I feel like there's a lot of excitement on my timeline. Like there was a lot of fighting initially. <laughs> there's a lot of excitement on my timeline. I think we're all feeling like very ready to work hard and I appreciate that. There's a ton of projects going around. If you're not on um, Mombe Bay Twitter, I will link the tweet that has like a ton of streaming information and project information um, that fan bases have put together and people have worked so hard on like, creating these things um, to help people do well. I do plan on buying, wait, this goes here. What am I doing? I do plan on buying a Melon and a Genie streaming pass um, this time around. I haven't done it yet, but I will at some point. Um, so if you need help, if you wanna know how to like buy those kinds of things, and have streaming passes, don't hesitate to reach out to me on either Twitter or Instagram. Um, because I'll definitely help you. Like, kind of confusing at first, but I think that's really helpful. And especially if you're a mom baby, I mean, I'll help, you know, if you're not a mom baby, I'll help you too. But <laughs> especially if you're a mom baby and you're really confused about like how you can help as an international fan with this comeback, don't hesitate to message me. I will help you out because yeah, I want to help make this a really good comeback for them. Next, we have the unit cards. So because I did three unit cards, that leaves us with 12. So we're going to do six on each page. What I did for Fantasia was I did, there was like two concepts. I think it was version one and version two. Both had like an even amount of unit cards. Um, so obviously I don't know that information yet. So this will probably be reorganized when the album actually drops. But for right now, I'm just going to put these um, in age order. Okay, 
I am really sad about Shonu not participating this time around though. Like it's, it's so sad. Like it was so good to see him during their anniversary live. That was really nice. Hasn't been the same. And I'm glad he's able to do some things still like fan cafe. And I don't think he's, has he posted on Instagram recently? Maybe. It won't be the first time we've seen them as five, but it'll be the first time seeing them as this lineup of five. Um, cause they promoted it without Juhan for a while back in early 2020. Well, actually I should do it the other way. I'll do the opposite way. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be an American version yet. They haven't really announced an American version, but it's kind of early for them to do that. Um, but if there's an American version, I will definitely do that. I think I wanna do the nine pocket stuff and then I'll do the larger stuff in the back. So these are the Starship Square cards. I do plan on ordering six copies from Starship Square, actually 10 copies to have the postcards as well. Um, it's just easier to buy as many copies as you need from Starship Square or Highline Star or whatever because finding those things later is so difficult. It's so difficult and I just would like rather not do it, especially for photo cards. I feel like for larger things, sometimes people aren't as like whatever about them. Yeah, so there's Starship Square and then I'm gonna do with drama next. So that's that. I'm gonna take this out. I probably should just leave it in there for being honest, but whatever. And then these are for the message and also the ornament cards. Ornament cards. Starship gives us the weirdest things, man. <laughs> Starship, I'm tired. <laughs> why can't you just give us like, like why do you always gotta make it weird, Starship? No wait, the ornament cards are bigger. So I'm gonna do that first. Don't ask me why I'm doing it like this, I have no idea. I'm not gonna store the um, posters in here either, I don't think. It, de it depends, it really depends what they look like when they get here. I'm also really hoping that I can somehow consolidate these to fit like a two per page, but I'm just gonna do this right now. Um, same thing with the, the rolling message cards. I'm gonna see if I can consolidate them a little bit when I get them, but. And then I think that's, oh, the postcards, hold on. And then this is for the Starship Square postcards. If they're anything like the ones one will release, they fit perfectly in three pocket sleeves. Um, so I'm just gonna put one sleeve in there for six cards. And that's it for Monster X. <laughs> I say it like we didn't just add like so much to this binder. Here we have the Shonu and Changjin unit, the Minhyuk and Juhan unit, the Kihyun and Hyungwon unit, the other um, unit cards. Drama. And then my music taste. And then we have the ornament cards and the rolling message cards, all gonna be in two pockets. I wonder if I did long two pockets. Maybe I'll do long two pockets and then I can fit two in a page. Ooh, that's a good idea. 
future Carolyn remember we had this conversation. So yeah, let's move on to Twice now. So Twice, Twice won't take nearly that long. <laughs> Twice is releasing Taste of Love on June, oh, June 9th? June 9th. And it's dropping in the States and on the 11th, but June 9th is the comeback. So I was looking at what's going on with Twice this time around. And if you don't know, I have been collecting Jiho for, well, I've collected her before, but I've been collecting her for a few months now. And obviously I was super excited about a Twice come back to collect more cards. And let's go over what's going on here. So for Twice, we have three versions as well, with three versions, um, pretty normal for them. They also have random CD plays, which I don't collect for Jiho, but pulling her would be amazing. There's also a little booklet that comes with a tasting card and a lenticular. Now, both of these are, so Monstex unit, like Monstex cards, which barely fit in nine pockets are 62 by 88 millimeters. These lenticulars for twice, oh my gosh, so much Monstex, <laughs> are 65 by 90. So I think they're gonna be too big for nine pockets or they'll just barely fit in nine pockets. But my guess is they probably won't fit in nine pockets. Same with this tasting card which is really unfortunate um, because I really would have collected these things. I think I'll still try to. Um, I'll just kind of keep it, keep these separately, but I'm not gonna set up for them today. Um, this coaster, I don't really care if I'm holding you for this. I don't really like circle items, larger weird shaped items. So I'm okay with that. Um, photo card wise, this is, <laughs> This is what we have. So as you can see, you get five cards out of 45 for every album that you buy. And there's only five cards per member. So you buy one version of this album and you have enough cards to complete one member. And I was like, that's very generous, GYP. Like, thank you. That's very kind of you. But that doesn't sound very fun to me. <laughs> so I was like, how can I make this more this release more fun? Especially because five cards on a page just... I just don't like five card setups. And so I was like, how can I make it look better? So I was like, well, if I have a six, six card, like if I have a lenticular, but then I was like, oh, the lenticulars, there's no way they're gonna fit nine pocket sleeves. How do I make this come back more fun for me? And so, cause I don't wanna buy one version of a Twice album. I want all three versions, but what am I gonna do with the other 10 cards, right? Like, I, like what? So I've decided to collect my top three for this comeback. Um, and that, that does include like the tasting and the lenticular card. And then for the US version, there's a bookmark. Um, so they just, I just saw that like earlier today. It's been announced for a couple days, but I just looked at it this morning while I was preparing for this video. So yeah, we're going to collect our top three. Let's come back because let's look at my twice collection, right? So my twice collection is ignore that stuff, <laughs> but it's a lot of like, full pages and I really like that like obviously this is not going to be that um where is that card I must have pulled it out for a thumbnail or something <laughs> so it's all nine pocket pages right and so I was gonna collect OT9 sets for this era because I did that for um Eyes Wide Open but there's really no need to collect OT9 sets unless you're like collecting the full group. I just think it's really funny how you can buy nine Twice albums and have enough cards to complete the entire group, but I technically need 24 Monster Dice albums <laughs> without pre-order benefits. Um, so here, let's put some sleeves in. So to collect your top three, or my top three, we're not collecting your top three, but maybe we have the same top three. I need two nine pocket sleeves. And then I also need, I'm gonna put a four pocket in here for the larger like lenticular items. I said I wasn't gonna set up for it, but I changed my mind. You know, it happens. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also going to put a spot in here for the bookmarks because I do plan on getting target versions. I won't be there the day that it releases. I'm actually going out of town now that day. You will get a target vlog um, that weekend at some point, probably. <laughs> so yes, this is for that. And then who are my top three? So. My top three in Twice, Jiho is my first bias, Sana is my second bias, and Dahyun is my third bias. So that's who I will be collecting. Because if a lenticulars fit, this would have been perfect. So I have all five of Jiho's cards. Um, again, I don't know the versions yet for the cards. I don't know like the concepts of the cards yet. So we'll kind of adjust that as the album 
details get released and the album gets released. So I'm gonna set up like this. And originally I was gonna set up so that I can have the lenticulars on the page too, but I really don't think they're gonna fit. If they fit, that's how I'll set it up. But I think what we're gonna do instead um, is just do all three for the couple of members for the first three cards, so. Should I do Jihoo in the middle because she's my bias? It also would be age order too. But I feel like whenever I collect three members, which is literally just treasure, <laughs> I have like Junkyu's cards first. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I can always change it later, but for right now, I'm just gonna do this. You will get a vlog on me looking for twice eventually. It just might not be on June 11th. It won't be on June 11th because I'm not gonna be here. I will be elsewhere in a different state. It's important that I go to this thing that I'm going to, so. I couldn't delay it to go shopping for twice, sorry. <laughs> and then, you know, there will probably be some like pre-order cards or something released um, for like Korean stores. I think there's already a couple stores that have announced like so maybe I'll try to get some, just to have like a fifth or sixth card that fits here. They do have the pre-order cards this time as well. I didn't show that, but it's the typical JYP pre-order cards. We'll see. We'll see how I go about storing those. Twice really do need their own binder, man. I have a couple like people I know who collect Twice like on YouTube and they have their own twice binders. And I've always been like, I mean, I guess I don't really need a twice binder, but like twice is literally a third of this binder. Like it's so bad. Oh, here we have my Randy cards. <laughs> we have my Randy cards back here, but oh my gosh, they take up so much space, which I love my twice collection. So it's not like, I just really don't want to get another binder, but this is okay for right now. Like it'll be fine for right now. Anyways, that is it for this video. It was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but I hope you enjoyed watching me set up for these comebacks. Um, I'm super excited for both Twice and Monster Dex's comebacks, especially because I'm collecting my top three for Twice. Like I'm really excited to do that um, because I just wasn't excited about only having five cards to collect. So this doesn't mean anything. Like don't think too deeply into it, <laughs> but um, I am going to be doing um, that for this era i'm really excited sana always has the prettiest cards too and i always look at them and i'm like oh, i wish i collected you but like also your cards i feel like are more expensive than jiho so you know but anyways that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you very very soon Bye bye